I'm really excited about this new index, MasterCard's Index of Women Entrepreneurs, because it can help us have tangible information about how to close the gender gap. And that's important because if men and women were on an equal footing in the business world, McKinsey says we would add 12 trillion to the world's GDP. Technology and innovation is hugely important because in many developing economies, we're actually dealing with greenfield sites. If we think about developed economies, then many of the businesses that women are launching uh, are obviously using the internet, social media, all sorts of different networking tools, marketing capabilities. So technology plays a role, whether it's a developed economy or whether it's an emerging economy. The conditions are different, the drivers are different. In the developed markets, it's all about opportunity, opportunistic business plays. In the developing markets, it's about addressing real needs, actually delivering product for farmers, um, allowing women to support their families. We think it's very important to have people included in the financial system, included in the digital world. And particularly if you invest in women, women tend to invest in their children. So all of those things create a virtuous circle when you're working with women entrepreneurs. And I would love this index to be used around the world to catalyze and change the number of women entrepreneurs we have in various different geographies. You can see there's a huge potential to increase it in the developed world. And you can see that in some countries that are leading the way, we could take examples of what's happening there and success transfer that to other countries in their geography or in different geographies. And that's the way I'd love to see this index used.